Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with, I don't know, maybe last or second to the last in this series where I am working with the Life's Vignettes papers from Blue Fern Studio for my uh, Blue Fern Studio design team project. As you know, last time we finished this little folio, and I'm just crazy about it. I'm really loving it. So we're going to work on this... Um, traveler's notebook because I wanted to work some with the 12 by 12s as well because we used eight by eights in this in this for this particular project so um so yeah we'll get started let's say hi and hugs hi and hugs to Kelly Anne, Claudia and Brenda thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments Okay, so I got some papers. I, I just got a variety of different papers to put in this. And as I was looking at the cover, I'm like, you know, I feel like it's a little, it's a little plain. I, I want to sew around it. So we're going to do that first. Uh, as you might remember, we cut the cover um, eight and a half by nine. And so when it's folded, it's eight and a half by four and a half. So just to remind you about that. And when I sew on my covers, I like to start in the back corner. I don't know. It's just, it's just how I do it. And, and I think it's because if my thread is going to goof up, it's going to goof up right away and it'll... It'll take care of it there. Um, I have decided that I am going to use, I have a little leaf stitch, so I'm just going to use that. So we're just going to zip our way around this piece of paper. I might have used the term zip loosely. It takes a while for this, but... It's very pretty and I just felt like I needed something defining the edges a little bit more. I'll ink it as well, but I just felt like it needed a little bit of stitching. Try and go a little faster. <laughs> Put the pedal to the metal, Gail. Yep, this is what it needed. I'm feeling good about this. about there on the last home stretch of it. Okay, I am going to clip that a little longer to start off with and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, well, I like that a lot better. 
see that fun little stitch around there? It just gives it a little edge definition. And so I am going to take these little tails and I'm going to tie them in a knot, a double knot on the top and on the bottom. And then I'm going to cut them off because I do, um, I do want page corners on this because it's just one thickness of paper, but you know, good old blue fern is a thick, nice paper. So that's all we need is really one. Okay, cool. So I'm going to clip that and grab the glue book. And we're going to just pop these on real quick. They'll be a little quicker than the big book because um, it's not as, uh, the cover's not as thick. That's what I'm trying to say. Better pull up the sleeves a little bit. So it's really nice here today. Like it's supposed to be about 76 at 4 o'clock. That's when I usually stop working <laughs> gotta put a little gotta put a little quote around that um and so I said to Mike let's let's plan on sitting out by our little shed it's in the shade and it's so nice I do love in the spring often we can sit on on the deck in the sun and it's too hot in the summer. You can't do it. It's just too hot. But in the um, in the spring and the fall, it's just lovely. Lovely, lovely. So, well, in this series, you've had your share of book corners, haven't you? But They, it's a good thing to know how to do because I really do think they make a difference um, sturdy-wise and decoratively. So, got my pictures all taken of the folio so that, um, because I'll send them to Blue Fern and they'll put the project on their blog at some point. And so, um... I wanted to get those done before I started using ephemera out of it. <laughs> so, it'll be good. Okay, so now that is done. We can let, whoopsie, sliding off. We can let that dry. Okay, so there is our little cover, Where is um, and I think one thing I want to do <laughs> is I think I'm going to put glossy accents on the butterflies. Um, I'm just deciding I have work to do on the pages and stuff but I don't think it will dry in that time so maybe at the very end of our working today we'll do that okay oh I forgot to see what time it was when we started I'm gonna say it was like quarter after ish let's just let's just make something up probably 10 after quarter after something like that okay pages so I just picked out a variety of pages. Bookshop Shelly makes this paper. I don't know where that came from. This is Triple V Vintage. Um, not sure where that one came from. This is Paper Baker Creations. Not sure about that. This is another Triple V Vintage. So, so I got my papers. Now, the one thing I want to make sure is this one I want to fold kind of in a different way. Okay, so we need to do some trimming. 
Let me set this out of the way, get rid of these. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take maybe three pages and it's eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna make it eight and a half by eight and a half. And that always leaves just a lovely bit. These make great little notepads. So that's, that's fun. Okay, so there's that one. Let's set that aside. I'm gonna do this one. Um, that's a really thick paper. I'm thinking I might fold it. So let's put it right here. We'll fold it. Okay. So we can grab one more piece. I think we can do easily do three at a time. Okay. Gosh, it's funny. It's uh, warm outside. And it's making it kind of chilly in my room. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how that works. Let's see. Let's do let's do this way and keep as much of the doily there as we can. Okay. Yeah, I really want to make those um, butterflies pop out, but then I thought if I do it now, it's gonna um, keep me from working on other things. So we'll do it right at the end. Okay, and that's gonna fold this way. And a couple more. That, that way. This doesn't need to be cut, I don't think. Oh, it might need a yeah, it needs a little bit. So let's go like this. And eight and a half. Right. Yeah. Yes, except for I want this one to go this way. Oh, so I didn't need to cut it that much, but that's okay. <laughs> What's done is done. Okay. So, and then this one, I want to fold it at about four and a half, four, four and a half, somewhere in there. Yeah, that's a nice nice thick paper and then this one I'm going to fold in like that and that's going to go right there so let's, let's get to folding this is going to be my first page because it goes really well with the inside of the book My hands are cold. It's crazy. The warmer it gets outside, though, the cooler it gets down here. It's just the thing. It's the thing with it. And um, and then when the air conditioning comes on, I really freeze. Because <laughs> I have a little vent. But see, what's happening is the heat's not coming on because it's so warm outside. So it's just chilly down here. It's okay. I'll survive. I just have to work harder, right? Work harder. Get get your heart beating quick and your I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty this way. Let's go this way. Okay, and then this. Go that way. That's awesome with the butterflies because it's similar to the paper. Okay. And that. Okay. 
And this one. love this for a bee journal but it's a cool pattern for any journal okay and then we have the inside of there okay so I was gonna look and see if I had any smaller um, doilies just kind of uh, kind of looking let's see is this, would this one be too big no, oh, that will be good. I thought this one maybe could use a little doily. How about we put it right there? It'll be showing up really well. Then was thinking, what else might I have that I would want to put in the signature? I don't know. Um, I've got. Do one of these little bags. Let's see, maybe in here further. That's kind of fun. Okay, I'll just put that in there too. Why not? All right, so then our cover. Stuck together because I glued the corners. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna get my sewing in stuff. Okay, once again, this book cradle is from Crafty Cat USA. And so we will just clip this guy. It's very quick, very quick to make the base. It's the decorating that takes a while, which, you know, is a really fun part. So that's okay with me. I go, like to go opposites. I just feel like I get it more snugly into the spine. And I just push in with my thumbs, and there you go. Okay. Let's get out our pokey, our awl, and a needle. All righty. Let's get it poked. So I'm just going to eyeball the middle. I don't really really measure I'm doing my doing my stitching in and then I go about an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom okay and an inch okay how do we do poking through pretty good I should be able to get through there okie dokie and I don't really care what color of string because I'm going to cover it up anyways. I'll just use this white. And I go three lengths of the pages. I do have the waxed linen on my favorite things too. If you haven't tried it, if you've been using other kinds of strings, I highly recommend it. I, it's, it's the best for binding, I think. Okay, we're gonna go in through the middle. Use my thumb to hold this. Go into the bottom. And through the middle, being careful not to catch the thread. 
and in through the top. And then I make the strings go on opposite sides. Give it a little pull and tie her down. I think I might leave those. I think we'll put charms on this. So, okay, cool. Done with the book binding part. Just get everything put away here. My clips. So you can see it's pretty quick to do a, a little TN type notebook. Okay, let's put these away. Get it all off of my desk. Okay. Yay, now we're to decorating. And I have no ephemera made for this because it's, you know, it's a new project. Okay, so I do want lace on the spine. So let's let me just grab, grab my lace for a second. I'm thinking this for sure. This is Lace 82. That's the name of this one. Okay, and just unfold it here and give it a little clip clip here. Ooh, that's pretty. Love it. Love it, love it. That would look super pretty on a pocket, too. Which we, we may do. We may yet do. I just caught my ring on the um, filming arm. I better check and make sure I didn't mess you up too much. Oh, looks okay. 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 All right, so look at how pretty that's going to be. Ooh, 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 love it. Okay, let's get that down, and then we'll get to playing around with making some stuff on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to use my lace as kind of a measurement here. I'm just going to go in a straight line and then I'll come back and once I lay it down, I'll do the points of the lace. Okay. Make sure I got the right side. The correct side. Okay, let me get my spatula. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in and go around these little curved edges. Here. A little closer here. There we go. Perfect. 
Perfect. Couple. A little extra right there. Alrighty then. So that can dry a bit. Um, while that's drying, let's take a look at our scraps and see like if we have some that are like perfect size for a pocket or whatever. Let's see. Scraps. What do we have? We have these and this. Um, oh, I'm like, where are the rest of the scraps? I know there's some. They are right here under a pile of stuff. Let's see that one. Okay. Make something like that. Okay. Okay, that's all the scraps we've made so far. Burr, my hands are cold, old, old. Okay, uh, let's see. So, like, this one definitely can be something. This one, ooh, that could be a pocket. And, of course, this one and this one, same size. So, this one could be a neat side pocket, I feel like. And then... These, what are what are they asking to be? They could be pockets. I have to cut them down a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, how about this one? Maybe we could do like a corner corner pocket. That'd be fun too. Okay, got some ideas. These little guys I'm going to set aside for now. Whew. Gosh, you guys, I feel like I need to go get my space heater. Okay. That sounded like a dog barking in the distance, didn't it? <laughs> okay. Let me think. Let's, let's do this one first. Okay, so I'm thinking if I go to the right to the other side of the H. I'm not going to be too, too, I mean, it's not going to be too big. I don't think, I don't know. Let's just try. Never know until you try. Okay. So then what I want to do is cut it, but I don't want to cut the word. So I kind of want to make a funky little thing here. Funky little triangle piece, but that'll be a cute little pocket, I think. Okay. And then this one, I'm thinking I don't want to go much beyond four, if that. What I think I'm going to do is cut off a little on this edge. We've definitely got more cluster, clustering that can happen. <laughs> okay, and so that puts it like at about three and three quarters, which I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, and what I'm going to do then is see, like, I'm going to do the same thing on this one, kind of. This little guy, he could be some sort of a little tag, I think. This little one. Um, let's make him the same size, though. Or very close to it. Okay. Cool. I'm going to do a couple of clippy clips right here. A little one. <laughs> Sorry, little punch. Going through two 
two bits of um, of this is a little difficult. I was thinking about rounding the corners, but then I'm thinking I would lose some of that flower. I think I'll leave them. Okay, so those are ready. This is ready. This, I think, would be really pretty. Is this eight and a half? It looks like it. Yep. Let's put a thumb hole on this side. Okay. So we need to distress those. I still haven't figured out what I want to do with this guy. We'll think about it. This could also be a pocket. It's tiny, though. Hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm set on these four though. I'm also thinking I think I might like to put some lace on the sides, down the sides of the pages. So I think we might do that as well. As soon as the spines dry, which should be getting there. Gosh, I think this looks so pretty distressed. Okay, this edge. Finally got a new sponge, I finally remembered. <laughs> I usually try and change them out when I re-ink my ink pad because then I get a little more ink on the sponge and it's soaked with ink but this is just working fine okay all righty then oh gosh I hope it, you guys aren't too dark I push down my sometimes taking photographs I have to when I was photographing the folio I couldn't um couldn't leave all the lights on because they were shining on that plastic. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it already. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. Okay, so definitely the front page should have something, don't you think? Feels a little short. It's better on that page. Okay, I don't know what to put on that page, this page. You know what, I kind of like that because it says right here, there's the word the, and then that's all kind of sewn on, but the secret heart. So, okay, so I put that there. That goes fine there, but maybe we can use one back here. That spread them out a little bit. Ooh, that looks neat there, color-wise. Yes, that's where that one's going to go. Oh, wait, though. I should put it on this side. Where's the purple? Right there. So, I'll put it there. Okay, now I have one on each side. And then these two are similar, and I can put one on each side there, too. Let's see. Might be kind of nice right there okay we'll put that one right there okay but i don't want to put them in yet because i want to decide on my lace so love this black and then i was sinking some of the gold maybe on some of the pages Ooh, I think, I think I'm going to go with the gold, and I think I'm going to put it on here. 
just right on the edge. Okay. This one, I, I do have trouble to see in which is the right side. I think this is the right side here. Oh, perfect. Right in between there. And I like to do one on each end of the book. So we'll do this. Okay, those are going to go in there. And then the black. Where would we like the black? Oh, it would be kind of cool on here, wouldn't it? And then we can come up with something for in the middle. Which, this is too thick. I feel like this is a little bit too small. So I do have, um, I have more blue fern lace over in, in my blue fern bin. So I think we'll, I, I'd like a white one too, is what I'm thinking. put one here too. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a wonder, isn't it, that I ever get it on the right side. I really like that there with the what's on the opposing page too. Okay, so those are little scraps to yet to be used. Okay, talk amongst yourselves one sec. Chair, everything fall. Yeah, I had Christmas precariously put on here. So let's see. Let me just let me find the one, and then I'll show you and tell you what it is. Just have to find the one. That one could work. We'll see. It's a bigger. That's bigger. Bigger and bigger. I don't know if that one will work, but we might try it. Let's see. Is that my choices? That's my choices. All right. So, this one, yeah, I think it's this one. Lace 11. And this one's lace 14. But I think I want lace 11. So, Let's do it and find a spot for that in between the very front in here. So that'd be about right there, which is good. We'll put it right here. Okay. Yep, that's going to be just right. I wanted something that would... You know, would hang out a bit, but not too much, <laughs> not too big, big enough, not too big. Okay, so there's that one, and this one, it looks like if we go right here, okay. Set that aside for the moment, and we're going to put that here, and here. Okay, let's get that put in. It's kind of
kind of like doing all the base work and then we get to do our playing with the fun stuff. Okay, this I'm going to go right very close to the edge because I do want to put that pocket on here. Well, I th I'm thinking we'll be at least one more video because we have ephemera and pockets and whatnot to do. Belly band, maybe. Okay, loving that. Loving that. Get that closer to the edge a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to do the same back here. Okay, there's that one. And then this one, we can do a little, I think two lines of glue for this one because it's a little bit thicker. So for this older lace, I'm not sure, but I would think that bluemoonscrapbooking.com would be the place to find that because it is older. I, you know, of all the folks that carry blue fern, I'm, I think you might have best luck with them. If you can even find it anymore, I don't know. But I'm thinking maybe Blue Moon Scrapbooking might have some. I don't know. Okay, then the black. I used to sew on all my lace, but you know, I, I began to worry that um, the stitching would weaken the edge of the page and that with a lot of flipping through it might, you know, it might rip the edges of the paper. So I started using Fabri-Tac because I, I know it's safe from that. Okay. Okay. So, three different kinds of lace. So, that makes my odd number thing happy. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Isn't that beautiful? Gosh, what beautiful lace. Okay, so now I wanted to put this here, but I want to decorate it a little bit. So let's do that. Um, I am thinking this little lace, this is lace 83 that came with this collection. I am thinking that along this edge will be super cute, and I don't know, but I think we might use a piece of ephemera out of our ephemera folio. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Get that out of the way, and let's just... 
this out. Oh my gosh, yes. How cute is that? I think I'm going to go right there. And leave a little top and bottom. We'll just go like that. Okay. I'm kind of just tossing this lace because I'll probably, I may be using it again is what I'm thinking. Okay, yep, let's put that on there. And then let's see, I'm thinking maybe like a little butterfly or something from the ephemera pack. Okay. I know there were tiny butterflies. So let's see where they went to in here. A couple of bigger ones. That's a bigger one. Um, might have lied. Maybe there isn't a smaller one. Hmm. No, there isn't a smaller butterfly. You know what would be cute on that is to run some thread through there. Um, okay. I have an idea. We're veering from the butterfly idea. Let's see. Excuse my reach. Let's use this. And punch a couple holes through there. There's that. And then let's um let's grab my scary basket of scraps here. <laughs> oh gosh. I have stuff flying all over here. But I was thinking, what about like some little twine through it or something? So let's see how that looks. Give it some dimension too, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, that is cute. Okay. Okay, but I need to clip that just, just have it be about that long. Okay. That's really cute, but what I think we need to do is put some Nouveau on it. So I think I might pop it on there. Get it stuck on. Okay. Through here. It's a little lumpy, so it's going to just take me holding it. And then I think we should put some Nouveau crystal glaze on it. On the flower part of the button. That's what I think. Yeah, 
That's going to be cute. I guess I don't care if this thing gets into it, the string. It's like, it'll just be stuck there. Okay, we're going to let that dry before we put it in. We'll just remember that goes on the first page. But that's a happy little, happy little pocket, isn't it? Fun. Okay, so we'll set that aside to dry. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, we're just about out of time. It's having so much fun. Let's see. Where's my other little, my long pocket there? Oh, I just had a thought. Oh, it's too big. Yeah, I think he would be great there. I mean, you could put something right there. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. And then least we'll kind of have two pockets on the go but definitely we need we're definitely gonna need another video there we go yeah so I had a thought you know what's going to be the belly band. This lace is going to be the belly band, and we are going to play with that next time. Next time we work on this stuff, which will be, let's see, tomorrow will be Marguerite Miller, but then we'll get back to work on this um, afterward. But that's going to be a gorgeous belly band, but it's going to need some extra extra fun. Okay. All right, guys. Well, there is our fun little TN that we're working on. Project number two for Blue Fern Studios Life's vign Vignettes because I can't seem to quit playing with it. So <laughs> I hope you have a grateful day and thanks so much for crafting with me today. See you in the next video. Bye.